We all know Timu, the website where you can get funny t-shirts, knockoff luxury products, toys, and some more sinister items. But what a lot of people don't discuss is the amount of knockoff pens that are sold. Since I'm a young, trendy hipster, I decided to finally cave and order some things off of Timu. I got a t-shirt and a few other items, but more specifically, I got two of these knockoff pens. In this video, I want to take a look at some of the ones I got, some of the others on the site, compare them to the real deal, and try and get to the bottom of where all these knockoffs come from. Let's get into it. Given that most of these pens are knockoff Lamy Safaris, I figured the best place to look would be at the patent for the design. And wouldn't you know it, it expired in 1996. So I guess people just have free reign to use this design. Um, but one unique thing about these is that the ones that I got don't have the plus sign on the cap, like the Phillips screw looking bit. Um, which I guess is just to kind of wave any saying, oh yeah, no, it's a direct copy. But, uh, so that's probably the reason why these exist, and this has kind of cut my ideas for these this video short. But it's a fun fact, I guess, is that, uh, you know, expired, so maybe I'll go and file a new patent and make my own pen company. All right, so let's get into the nitty-gritty of this review. Here are the two pens that I got from the glorious Timu website. Um, this one is from Culture Shop. It is called One Piece Standard Classic Pen School Office Writing Smooth Pen with EF Tip Does Not Contain Ink. It was $1.93. This is called, this is a mouthful, 10 Pieces Set. It just came with one. Eternity Pencils, Infinity Writing, Replaceable Tip, Eraser Writing, Art Sketch, Stationery, School Supplies, Magic Pencils, One Pen, Plus Six Pieces, Plus Three Erasers, for $2.24. And let me tell you, that is one heck of a deal. Now, just right off the bat, these are the two that I purchased. And these are my two real Lamy Safari pens. Uh, if you don't notice a big difference, it's because there's not one. Um, just doing a visual inspection before even opening them. You can see on the real Lamy Safari, we have the logo embossed here. Um, this one has this bit. I think it's a different a special edition or something like that. I really don't know. We got that. On this one, we've got the uh, Phillips type plus sign symbol thing here, as I mentioned earlier. Backside, Germany. I don't know if you can see that. Germany embossed. You know, keep keep this in mind. And then we look at this one. You can see there's no symbol or anything on the cap. No embossing on the bottom, but you can see that there's that little, it's like a scratchy bit of like crappy plastic, you know same same ring shape um, and these are almost identical in size um, clip a little bit stronger yeah a little bit stronger different material this one is just you know regular old flimsy metal um, same little nipple type thing there um, overall way worse quality plastic this one is a bearable to use i've been using this one a little bit um these you can see they're, they have a glossy finish it's it's nice plastic not unbearable to hold you know um that is sorry let's start with the most interesting of the bunch again this is the uh palette factory stationary 10 pieces set blah 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 so this is not actually a pen it's oh, you've probably seen these one of those infinity pencils, which is basically just a hunk of graphite for the tip, and they allegedly can write forever. Um, so, you know, that's neat if that's your thing. Also, another thing to mention, the grip, pretty much identical, triangular shape. Um, and then, opening this up where the... Uh, this is, this is really funny, this is what got me. Where you would typically put the converter, which I think they probably make these molds in the same factory, 
as other, oh, that comes off too. Um, there's other presumably knockoff actual pins because it's got the little nubbin for the converter to go into. When you look where the ink should be, you get an eraser. Um, and let me actually get out what it came with, if I can find it. Okay, so here's everything this pen came with. It came with two extra erasers that have no clear place to be put. And one, two, three, four, five, six, six extra tips. Great value for the $2 I paid for it. So this one's interesting. You know, I don't really, I don't know. I'll do a writing test in a minute, but I have an infinite pencil like this that is of better quality and it's, you know, a better quality, but it's at home. So can't do a direct comparison at the moment, but that's that one. And this one, this is the, uh, this is the culture shop, one piece standard classic pen, blah, 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 whatever. So when you open it up, it's got the same, same tip, or sorry, not tip, grip. The, uh, I just realized this, um, the nib looks similar to a platinum preppy nib, which I actually have. Yeah, I think this is just an Akaf Platinum Preppy nib, or just Platinum nib, because they look rather similar, um, minus the logo. And it's actually interesting, I did not, well, not exactly similar. Similar shape, definitely, but uh, anyways. It's got EF embossed on there for extra fine. Um, and this pen is, that's definitely a good way to describe this pen. It's it's not just fine, it's extra fine. Another, uh, you have this really, really garbage plastic. See, if you see on here, I think, the, I don't know if these are actually plastic. They might be resin of some sort, but very nice, polished, you know, smooth. The, oh, that does come off, but it comes off with a little extra force. I've actually never done that. Um, but then on here, it's just kind of garbage plastic, you know, not very well finished, pretty much just junk. And then something I immediately found interesting, this came with a converter, which was nice of them to include. And I'm not gonna be able to get that back on, I bet. All right. Came with a converter and that, to the keen, keen-eyed viewers, that might look a little familiar. And the reason why it looks familiar is because it is strikingly similar to the official sorry, official converter this is the Lamy converter this is the this is the uh, culture shop converter minus this metal bit here I don't want to take this out because they're both full of ink but something else to note um, but uh, yeah this one writes pretty decent another thing this is a minor minor uh, agitation is that the the out outcrop on this does not line up with the ink window because if you notice on the Lamy Safari it lines up almost perfectly to the flat piece doesn't do that here um, you can see I'm worried that if I tighten it anymore it's just gonna bust but uh it even if you get it really tight it doesn't quite line up which is just a grievance Pen, the cap still posts you know it's got the same silhouette and it's surprisingly nice to write with um, which I will get into right now got my notebook here so first if we do a little little comparison we've just got a regular old haven't used this in a while regular Lamy Safari you know the nib is flexible but not too flexible you know overall pretty pretty smooth good pen to write with let me get this one and it feels pretty good to write with um, it's honestly a little bit smoother 
which could be because it's a you know worse nib i don't really know if that's how that works but they're both extra fun this one writes well it writes you know given the nib shape similar to the platinum preppy this one is 03 which i believe is either fine or extra fun yeah i'm not exactly sure um this one is a little bit wetter when you write but it's the only valid comparison i think i can make pretty good I, it's been sitting on my desk for a couple days and i've just been using it whenever i reach for something and it you know it's not a bad pen it's just not a good the body's not good but the nib is is decent ah, and then we get to this this uh what is this palette factory and one thing i immediately notice is on my other infinite right uh pen pencil whatever the the graphite doesn't wear down because i don't know if on the the better versions that are actually it's actually graphite but i'm pretty sure this is just like a block of lead because you can you can scrape it off and it comes off um definitely like an h lead um it's not very not very dark or anything um actually haven't tried i'll pull out the eraser um okay it erases pretty well with the default eraser so overall not bad not something that i would really use um not a big fan of that type of pencil you know but it's all right for what it is uh you know if you're gonna if you're really in a pinch and you need a, a pen that resembles another pen, you know, could go for this or you could just, you know, spend 30 bucks on a real Lamy Safari. But overall, I'm not disappointed in this. A little bit disappointed in this. And as you can also tell, this one tried to resemble the glossy look of the real deal and kind of failed miserably. But this one is just kind of unique. You know, you could definitely hand this to someone who didn't really know about pens and just they would probably think it was just another fountain pen which it is you know i'll continue writing with it not really any point to not write with it for $1.93 it's a heck of a value because i was expecting that it wouldn't actually write but as you can see it does so you know that's my two cents on it i don't really support the knockoff industry but you know $1.93 can't really hurt one final thing that I noticed when I was going through teaming to make this video is I found a page selling fake Tombow uh, mono erasers. It's just a little addendum. These guys, I think I showed these in another video. Um, just I'll show a web page in a second, but just remember this this general design here and the shape specifically with the circular or cylindrical one and the, the chisel tip. Just, just keep that in mind. All right, so now that we are here on the computer, we can see what I was talking about. Um, these look eerily similar to the real deal. The only major difference is the clip and obviously the text on them. I do not have these i will not be ordering these because four dollars for something that i already have is a little bit much plus it would i don't feel like waiting another week or two to post this video but yeah just something to keep in mind is that the, these these knockoffs are everywhere they're sold by this company zillu art supply which seems to just sell art supplies which this would be good you know if you were in a pinch and needed some art supplies, not sure, not really looked at any of their other items, but just these specifically caught my eye. Um, and yeah, that's, that's going to do it for this video. Um, not exactly the, the killer expose I was hoping for, but you know, just fun little look into some knockoffs and, uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching and, uh, stay sharp.